Hi, welcome to Rian Lake's Free Lessons. I'm gonna talk to you about the human body. So it starts when all sperm is trying to get towards the female's egg. So only one sperm will go here. Here, so it go, it splits out towards and it goes into the blopium tube and uterus. The walls of the blopium tube guide sperm towards the egg. And then only one sperm will become a baby. And then it kind of looks like a cell. So it floats. And then it reaches towards the birth canal. It becomes an embryo. And then it becomes a baby. Be and ready to be born. So it can only come out of at the pajama or your belly so after the baby is born when the lungs have never breathed before they're still full of amyloid fluid and then the adrenal glands flood the bloodstream when then thorpens it chocks the lungs into life and we take our first breath it rushes down the windpipe, down thousands of branching tubes, and nearly 30,000 tiny air sacs, the alveoli. They pull oxygen into our blood, pull out the carbon dioxide we exhale. Then the umbilical cord, or this cut. We have hypothalamus. This all over in the skin. The brain is under pressure. Sure, it makes 1,000 trillion calculations per second. It's still learning how, but we're in danger of hypothermia. We know almost about the world. It, it's The baby starts to drink milk. Hope. Outside the womb, bacteria are everywhere, invisible and deadly. Our dead skin is constantly attacked. There are ten times more bacteria in an hour's body. Our mother bites them for us with her milk. The immune system creates antibodies and delivers those antibodies back to us with her milk. Now let's move on to one month. During one, the nose can detect smells, and the liver just melts into the brain. And then, now let's go to our hearing. Sound waves vibrate the eardrum. On the other side of the eardrum, the ossicles vibrate in response. There are, they are the smallest bones in the body, but without them, we will never hear a thing. Then the antibody vibrations enter the inner ear or cochlea. When by, it's in line with delicate hairs. When vibrations pass through, the hairs vibrate. Loud noises can damage the, the stereo cilia in the inner ear, but in this age, they're perfect. Our hearing will never be this good again. The story is different with eyesight. We are born with very underdeveloped vision. The eye muscles are immature, but they are seen. The retina, the screen we see, have two types of cells, rods and cones. The cones can, can only do connect with color information, but as they're not developed yet, we see mostly in black and white during our first month. From the retina, the signals tra travel al along two thick nerves under the brain. In two months, we can, can detect color, colors and shape, shapes. During four months, we can Identify our mother's face, and in eight months, once, so we have 20 20 vision. 
this growth. And during three months, our growth slows down. But if it didn't, we weigh 1,000 billion tons during H4, the same as a blue, blue whale. During eight months, all of our senses work. We're beginning to explore the world. And since we use most, is touch. Touch something too hot, the pressure in the skin set, nerve signals racing up the arm up the spinal cord and into the brain. It travels along 30 kilometers per hour. The hot touching touch something too hot, it takes a shortcut faster. It fires the nerve signal back to the muscles. Touch something too hot, we move the hand away. There's something about the gnawing. Something painful is, a, is happening, something inside the baby's mouth. Your first teeth are coming through. Milk teeth are formed deep in the gums as we're still in the womb. Then one by one, they burst through. It's painful, but it's progress. At last, we can eat solid food. And with her new teeth, she can, she can take on more solid foods. Digestion starts in the mouth, teeth grind up the food, then special glands pump out saliva to break down and lubricate the food on its 12-hour drifting foot journey through the gut. It passes through the gut. It passes from the stomach to the small intestine and then before and then towards the large intestine. Made some contracting muscle keep the bone moving, a process called periscalsis. These weights are so powerful we can even eat upside down. It goes from the esophagus by periscalsis and reaches the epithelial sphincter, and then reach, and then opens up toward, and then it goes into the stomach. As the stomach is a bag of muscle. It has it breaks down food with acids and enzymes. Then, it, then the food is called chyme. Chyme exits through the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum and enters the small intestine. Bile from the liver and pancreas breaks down the backs into smaller droplets. into smaller droplets. Smaller droplets are easier for the intestine to absorb. The cereal wall of the small intestine is lined by millions of microscopic projections called villi. It gets nutrients from the food and deliver it towards the bloodstream. About an hour of a half, the small intestine has absorbed most of the nutrients from the food. It's time for what remains to move on. It enters the large intestine through the ileal cecal sphincter. For what's left in the food is vitamins and minerals, a, boot, a few nutrients, a mix of waste food and dead cells. Lots of bacteria are there too. It's not because of our infection. We also need them. They produce enzymes that pray that break down complex carbohydrates. Carbohydrates don't digest. After twelve hours, words we expel what happens about our first meal. One year old, we're mobile, we're getting pretty heavy. In the book, here has cartilage. Cartilage allows us to squeeze, same thing with our ears. They allow us to squeeze out the broken now. Cells called osteoblasts rebuild and replace it from cartilage 
into hard bone. We can't walk yet, but the balance is hidden deep inside our ears. It's inside your ossicles. Inside the ossicles, they have yellow loops. Each loop is the size of a dime. Inside the loops ha have liquid, and, and they take some and the lip or noise into the brain. Once we master bounds, we have one step closer to walking from a baby to a toddler. Two year old. A two year old learns about ten words. Now, moving on. This is the time when we are going to learn about words and, and developing immune systems to the challenge. We are entering a new period of life from a toddler to childhood. And we might even know some words during age five, like our first day at school. Now, about the brain. The brain has two thick nerves under it, and it has a synapse, and axons are there too. It's a tiny gap. And then, and when we hear a new word, the ears convert the sound to electric signals towards the, your brain. Same thing with your taste. When something tastes good, it sends it towards your brain. When something, when someone asks us, us to recall that memory, we see a, a gross bird. From, by, from age five to nine years. Age five through age nine is childhood. When you touch, it goes from the nerves up your spinal cord and into your brain and then and there are defenses against germs your eyebrows and eyelashes ear hairs and nasal hairs catch airborne bacteria sweat tears and mucus wash it off and our skin shares the cell taking bacteria with it and the mouth also has a special defense, your saliva glands. Each word of saliva has less sign that destroys bacteria. A pathogen may break through this, these defenses. Tiny viruses travel through our blood. First, the virus hijacks a cell and it makes copies of the virus. Then, then the cell erupts, explodes, spreading even more and more viruses around the body. It might even cause this rash called chickenpox. Heat slows down the spread of disease because it cannot produce well when it's hot. Mm -hmm. The virus might 
made 1,000 1,000 viruses. This is good for vaccination. It might even cause polio and other and other types of this. And then, and then blood comes out and then some wipes it with the tissue. And then childhood is now over when you're 10 and 11. Then was is this the roller coaster ride of puberty? Puberty is through eleven through twenty years. Now, inside there is an egg in he in over. Here, over here, and then girls become women and boys become men. How we talk, the larynx opens up, the larynx opens up, and then somewhere over here could make sperm. The voice gets louder when you say like this. Yeah! And then we have, and then we take our first kiss. We digest about nine tons of food. And our heart just pumps over a billion times, and the lungs have. Drawn over for one million times. Now we're entering a new period of life. Adopted. Here is made from on by dead skin cells. Our muscles are made by rich fibers. Now we all know smoke can damage the lungs. And and our hearing is under threat too by loud noise. The problem is deep inside the ears. The hairs that we use for hearing in the cochlea, the stereocilia, own and light noise, loud noises can can destroy these this all the hair, these hairs. Maybe because a high pitched sound shaked shaked it more boundly. And then, uh, our hearing is already shrinking. And there's also another type of damage, alcohol. As we absorb alcohol into our bloodstream, it can affect our organs and our state of mind. And also, the brain, synapse. Some... Some can be blocked and some more aren't blocked. Others get totally blocked. The more we drink, the more the effect will. Our heart heart pumps more faster. Same thing with stress during your 50s. After a party, the liver clears it out. Alcohol turns into harmless chemicals. One of its own poisons is alcohol. Then when you already have a job, you have to find the partner you're going to be married. The brain shrinks away from the skull after you drink alcohol. Oh, and we get a headache over here. We use our eyes to size up our date. Some sign says get 
get totally blocked too when when you're married. Your heart also pounds. You can't sleep. And also the goal in over here is to find the the female egg. The twins over somewhere in the belly and where your retra is. And then it opens to let sperm in. Like bacteria bacteria also kills sperm. It go into the blopium tube and uterus. The walls of the blopium tube guide sperm towards your the female's egg. In the next forty weeks, a single cell will, will develop into a perfectly formed baby. It's also caused by morning sickness called nausea and vomiting. Nausea protects it by boo going up. This can harm its tiny organs. In the other theory, the nausea is a side effect of the mother's immune system as it weakens to avoid attacking the embryo. The, the embryo. The, be this or womb is definitely a parasite. The fetus, the womb grows over 30 ounces on its first during when you're at the birth canal. The uterus expands 1,000 times just to hold it. After nine months, it's time to get be birth. The lungs and heart work harder than ever before to make space. Muscles in the spine relax. As our children grew older, so do we. Now we're entering a new period of time. We're in our forties, and we also get wrinkles. The problem is what what touches together. It starts your skin starts to get wrinkly and we get wrinkles. And there is oh the there's also another killing. Killer. It's called stress. Like sweaty palm, it can be caused by sweaty palms, shortness of breath. And also, our brain's blood vessels get damaged. When you eat Cake, sweets, and junk food, the body burns fewer calories. We need less fuel. If we continue to eat like we used to, the extra energy will be converted into this fat. Fat in women in their 50s, fat tends to go towards their hips. Men's store fat is in a different area, your, your belly. And when the heart gets more larger, it hits your liver. Liver, and it can also cause this a heart attack. And the holes in your heart opens. And the hypothalamus is, is, can't get its, its own thermostat 
correctly. Then we just enter a new period of life, old age. We grown from a tiny baby into a child, from child to parent to grandparent. Old age is the last chapter of life. In the cochlea, there are less stereo cilia in the inner ear. And, and the iris turns into a frosty yellow brown. And we use muscle tissue and bone every day. We need oxygen to live, but it's slowly poisoning us. As our cells and DNA get more and more damaged, eventually your organs fail. There's the best medicine for this. Dead. The heart stops pumping, the heart blushes, the bloodstream with endorphins. The most natural painkillers, the last final pump of the heart, your lungs stop breathing air. <sighs> Within 10 seconds, your brain's electrical activity drops. And it can also take 24 hours for your skin cells to stop the binding for this last impulse. Children born in the U.S. today can expect to live during the 80s. Even when we're gone, we still live through our loved ones. But what a journey. All journeys must come to an end.